What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the shop. Mini RC. I'm Ken, and today we're doing a quick kind of mail day outstanding project overview. We're just going to go through a bunch of stuff, show you kind of what we've got going in the works. We have so much stuff. We are so behind. We're doing a lot of events lately, and um, that's just kind of put us in a backlog of videos and builds and upgrades and stuff that we want to kind of show. Um, but it's all good, and uh, let's just kind of show you. That way you know uh, what's coming up in the future. All right, guys, before we get started, make sure you like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell, do all those things you do for videos and channels you love. Also, we've got a giveaway going on right now. Uh, it goes for the next two months. It's at the end of August, July, August, end of August. Yeah, end of August, we're going to be picking a winner for that giveaway. Um, there's a bunch of different ways to enter. Find the video. Maybe we'll link to it over here um, or over here, actually. <laughs> and... Uh, then yeah, you can just check that out and figure out how to enter. You can comment on the video. Um, we'll tell you how to what to comment with in the in the video itself. You can uh, get some swag if you have swag already from our swag shop. Uh, take a photo of you wearing our swag or running a mini that has uh, our logo on it. If you have stickers or print a logo or paint the logo, whatever. I've seen some people do wraps and they just put it as part of their wrap. They put our logo on there and uh, send in a photo of that stuff or even banners. If you have banners on a course or if we sponsored an event and you have a photo with our logo in that um, in that event show your truck in there or show you with that logo and send it in. You get extra entries. Also becoming a channel member. If you want to support the channel, the different levels of channel membership will get you extra entries there. So a bunch of different ways. Anyway, guys, let's check out all the cool stuff that we have coming up. It's, it's a lot. The stuff has been piling up. We got back from Axel Fest Badlands and we just had a bunch of stuff. So, and there's more on the way. There's more on the way. All right, so one of the first boxes we have here is from Heli Direct. And it's full of some Injora and Trill stuff that we're going to use in some builds. We have these Injoras. These are the, um, the All Terrains. I believe these are the 68s. No, 58s, excuse me. These are 58s. So we're going to check those guys out. Some of the other Injora stuff we have is just like, a lot of it's TRX 4M stuff. So axles, there's rear axles, front axles, CVDs. Um, some weights from Trill here. Uh, these are the Trill knuckles for the, these are for the UTB 18 Capra. So we're gonna do some Capra stuff with that. We also have Capra axles here, axle housings. So let's see here. This is the Capra stuff we got. This is the UTB 18 stuff we got. Or sorry, UTB 18, TRX 4M, UTB 18. Some front weights. Uh, there's an axle. I think this is for the FCX24. We got that, some S FCX24 stuff from Injora. Uh, we got some Injora brass wheels here. Again, this is all kind of stuff that's just gonna be added to existing builds, another FCX part. And then the last thing we got is a bumper for the Defender. We're gonna put this guy on the, um, the Camel Trophy Defender. It's got the hitch on there, which is pretty sweet. We have a bunch of trailer stuff coming up. Uh, we already shown two of those videos. Speaking of trailers, another Injora part here bam so we got a review on that trailer coming that video we've shot a little bit of already so you'll see that soon um we got all these from heli direct uh we snagged it up so we'll put links a link to heli direct down in the description below they have great prices um great shipping times i think they're based in indianapolis uh or indiana so it's kind of the center of the country, which means it's easy to ship everything out. Super, super nice in that regard. We also got these new Torx servos. Um, these are going to run on the these 10 scales. We're probably going to put one on the Bronco, and we'll put the other, this bigger guy, on the Rift. And then we got a micro guy here. Let's go ahead and open this up real quick just to show it off. Oh, it's red. I forgot that it was red. So got aluminum servo horn there, some red plastics, which is interesting, right? You almost always have the white servo horn, part of the white servo horn mafia. Well, we got the red plastics, and there's that servo. I think this is going to be super quality. Um, these are usually used in helicopters. They're, they're a helicopter servo, but this guy will mount right in, or it should mount right into our SCX24. 
um, or with a little bit of work, the other two TRX4M or um, the FCX24. Just depends on the servo horn that we're gonna use. So we got those guys coming. So that'll be super cool. I'm excited to try those out. You could give us another option in the micro world for servo. We also have the new Mias Rippers. We have both versions, the FJ as well as the uh, Jeep version. So that's gonna be sick. Um, <laughs> I have to get another truck because I've also got the Enjora Tarantula coming. So I don't know, maybe we'll uh, pull our 3D printed Mias build out and throw it in the uh, throw it in here. I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet as far as that's concerned, because otherwise I've got three trucks to buy. Well, probably two, because I can probably build a third out of some of our extra parts from upgrades and whatnot. I'll have to pick up some internals, probably transmission, gears, and uh, axle ring and pinions. But so those that's those, these are sick. I mean, the fact that these are under 40 bucks now compared to the 3d printed one which was like 70 or 80 and they come with a lay down servo and there's a new option for the fj versus the um versus the jeep and they're injection molded like sick because they're way more durable um so i am super excited for those we also have these guys um which we're going to we got to do an install video on those i'm still not sure what we're going to run them on maybe our, our class three kind of um box it's a stock truck that's like totally minimalized i've got no body on it it's just got a deadbolt cage hold on this guy here so i was thinking maybe we'll throw these on this guy it's kind of the most appropriate um we'll probably have to change our knuckles though or mm, i don't know what's going to happen there especially if we want to run the weight hangers which i don't think we have those yet we have the regular weight hangers for uh regular wheels but i don't think we have the big ones for these yet so we'll have to snag up some of those but yeah i think we'll throw it on here and then we're going to probably run these pin comps so we have some new pin comps here i already pulled the foams out they've just been kind of sitting on my desk waiting for these to get done so eventually we'll get that hard park uh 1.8 wheel to go on it'll be pretty sweet we also have little guy racing motor this is the uh, 3500 pancake style motor I don't even know why I bought this because I just wanted to have it just in case we had something, but I don't have a build for it yet. So, and I know why I bought it because I wanted to check out the little guy motor, but I don't have anything to put it in yet. Um, although we do have, we can put this guy in something, right? We got the lizard ultimate here or <laughs> lizard ultimate, the Python pro Python pro. Um, I think there is a lizard ultimate over here somewhere though. There it is. We do have a lizard ultimate there. So I've got some stuff to do some builds. Um, I just got to find the time. What else do we have? Hold on. What else? What else? Oh yeah. These two guys, this is for the UTV 18. So that goes with this stuff. And then this is for the TRX 4M. So that's going to go over here with this build more than likely. And, um, we got this too. Let's open this guy up. And this was sent over from your, uh, Fury Tech USA. And FureTech USA is the uh, U.S. distributor for FureTech, so you don't have to wait for product to ship from out of country. Uh, there again, these guys are also located in Illinois, and yeah, it's much faster shipping time than the uh, the normal FureTech.com. So check out FureTechUSA.com versus FureTech.com, and yeah, this so this stuff is for the Mini B or Mini T or JRX2. This is the new censored motor and censored ESC. Being censored means it's got a lot better throttle control. I think this would be pretty sick on the new drag car as well. It's a 6,700 KV, so it's gonna rip. Um, we're super excited. This is the Speedcat ESC, and then they're calling this guy the Kraken. So those are gonna go in a Mini B, Mini T. Unfortunately, we had all this stuff to do, and then we had another event coming up. We have Axial Fest West literally next week. So I'm not gonna be able to get to any of this stuff Maybe we'll do these today or tomorrow. I'm not sure, but I'm not really going to be able to dive into any bigger builds until I get back from that. So that's kind of rough. Uh, but yeah, I, I like going to the events. I like meeting people, talking to people, showing uh, the products for the brands that we help represent. We've been doing a lot with Fear Tech lately as far as helping their booth and um, just educating the public on what Fear Tech products are and what brushless means for the mini crawlers and just how it transforms your truck. Um, if you haven't gone brushless in your mini crawler, you are missing out guys straight up missing out the new FCX. We got a video I'll push right over here of the new FCX drop in. It literally drops in and you can use your stock remote. It's a fantastic system. And, um, if you haven't tried brushless on an FCX, you are really missing out because it is amazing. 
anyway, guys, tons of stuff. And there's even more. I'm sure I'm missing stuff. I'm kind of looking around right here. This this workspace is a disaster. I have a disaster right now. But yeah. Oh, we have some other wheel and tire videos coming soon as well. We have some kind of, oh, you know what else? This beautiful black box. Three Flow 9 stuff. This is all for the FCX24. We've got a front flow skid. We've got the multi-position front upper link mount. So that's right behind the servo. And then the rear uh, link riser for adjusting your anti-squat. So this is your anti-dive. This is your anti-squat. And then there's all the information on that. Anti-dive above 100% is good for hardcore technical rock crawling. And anti-dive below 100% is good for short course racing rock bouncers and mud trucks. Happy crawling. So that's exciting. We just got to get there, get it on a build. And then we've got this. This is 3D printed stuff. These are uh, some Yoda style bodies. We've got the extended cab or extra. It's an extra cab, I think is what they call it. And then our regular cab here. Great detail. The print lines are actually fairly minimal, um, but it's got all the awesome detail in it. And then we've got our two bed types here. I think there's a couple other options as well, but we've got a short bed pinched and the log bed pinched. Look at the detail on it. Pretty awesome. Um, these holes are actually to mount the stock hinge if you want to do that. I kind of wish the holes weren't there, but when we, we can fill them when we paint it. So that's not an issue. But uh, these were actually printed out by uh, Making and Breaking on Instagram. I'll we'll put a link down in the description below. Making and Breaking does the printing. And then uh, Height RC. Uh, did all the design work and you can just reach out to making and breaking and he will get you a price to get the license or the files to print the uh, height RC stuff. They have an agreement so you can reach out to uh, making and breaking if you don't have your own printer and you'd like to get something printed. Reach out to him. He'll help you out. And then if you already do have your own printer, you can go straight to the designer height RC um, and he will get you the files. So, yeah, pretty awesome there. I am super stoked for that. And that's pretty much what we've got for now. All right, guys. So tons of stuff coming down the line. Keep an eye out. Again, like, subscribe, share, notification bell. All those things will help keep you up to date with what we're doing. Check out our giveaway video that we mentioned. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll uh, get some of this stuff knocked out in the next two weeks and have a bunch of cool videos coming for you. And then as well as coverage from Axial Fest West, we're gonna do some coverage there. We'll see how much we can get out and do. If you hadn't checked out our Badlands video, that'll be posted right over here as well. And yeah, get out there, build something awesome, build a car, course, and community. Community is important. It's more fun to run these things when you're running it with friends. And then uh, smash them, crash them, unbash them, but don't break the expensive parts.